going on YouTube welcome to a Thursday night show hopefully everyone's doing well uh, I want to go through an item that I sold uh, items that I sold uh, items plural uh, high price my items and it was kind of leading into how I sold this item and uh, I got a couple boxes so let's go through the boxes and we'll see what's here it's kind of a little open episode I really didn't have anything to talk about so hopefully you guys have questions, comments, things that happen to you today. Uh, get a little discussion going. Let's see what we have here. Hey, Adam, what's going on? Glad to join. Catherine, Treasure Hustlers. Nick, how you doing? Um, so I did stop by the thrift store today and didn't find anything. I found something for myself, a kind of a Fenway poster, Fenway ballpark, which is kind of cool. It was made out of wood. And I found some Dale Earnhardt bicycle playing cards that were unopened, which I thought were kind of cool. It was only a dollar. So I picked them up. Uh, and that was all I bought today. I'll stop back tomorrow. Tomorrow I have off. So I will thrift again tomorrow. And I'll try to get a video out during the day. But uh, get some stuff listed. I tested my DVD players today. I got to get those up. Went through some of my DVDs, got those listed today. The cards, so the playing cards, I've seen that the Dale Jr. and some of the opened Dale Earnhardt ones were going for around $10. I threw my setup just because they were unopened for $20. I don't know. I'm going to see if I'm going to get anyone to bite on it. But uh, anywhere between $20 and $10 is what I'm feeling I can get for them. So I only paid a dollar, and they're unopened, which is nice. Um, but it was more chance. It was only a dollar, so I took it. And I figured everyone wants Dale Earnhardt, so. Yeah, so that's what I picked up today. I'm going to go thrifting tomorrow. Take an offer of 15. Oh, I definitely take an offer of 15 on them. I think I, I have, I did not do it yet, but I'll probably turn on best offer on those. I listed them up now. One down, dollar down, and one dollar a week for me. Does that mean? I have, I have no following that. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, so when I said I sold this question mark, this item I was going to donate. It was in my donate pile. And as I was going through it and pulling stuff out, and I was about to throw it in the Goodwill box. Oh, cards. Um, I was like, hmm, I don't know. This looks brand new. Let me look it up. Well, I think it was either two days ago or last night I listed it. And I looked it up. So it was a some weird knee brace. So you can see here. And it's brand new. Never used. It was just opened. I took pictures. I opened it and I took pictures of everything. I sold it for it was twenty three dollars. Uh, it seems like any of the medical stuff sells pretty well. I have a neck brace, a small cervical collar they call it. Uh, I listed that too. That hasn't sold yet, but I was quite surprised that a knee brace would sell. So if you get medical supplies or any sort of uh, uh, different uh, medical grade stuff in your liquidation boxes or even thrifting. I saw Monica bought some casting materials. Uh, look them up. I was, you know, that sold 23 bucks, so I'll take it. And what else did I sell today? I sold two of these inks. These are sealed. Yeah, casting materials, yep. I sold two of these inks to one person, uh, 40 bucks, 20 a piece. Those sat for a little bit. I finally got rid of them. So those are done. Sold another one of, of my favorite things. Catherine, if you have a closet full of braces, list them. Someone will buy them. Sold one of these again. $23. Those are flying out of here. You almost throw the profit to Goodwill. I almost did. Isn't that crazy to think? Sold this phone for $24. Um, this thing I had forever. It was a mouse. I had this for a long time. I finally sold it for 28 A gaming mouse. It's wired. So that's probably why it took a while. These I just received. They worked great. It's 
quite surprised. Headphone lots don't work well for me. These are perfect. I sold these for 70. This will fit in a regional A box. Yeah, but Catherine, give it a try. If you can list some braces, I'm sure people will buy them. And this is a pair of Bluetooth. I sold this for 30. It paired. I heard everything through the earpiece. Uh, I stated the microphone. My phone was not picking up the microphone. So uh, I sold that for 30. So that's what I sold today. Let me get that listed. I tested my DVD player, so I'm going to get those listed locally. The Blu-ray one, I'm going to try eBay and local, so we'll see. I've already had someone on Facebook on the Blu-ray ask about it, so we'll see. I have it up for 50. I'll probably get 40 or 30, but I'm hopefully going to sell it that way. So I, uh, I need your help on this one. So this is cool. It works. Uh, it works when I have it plugged in. Let's put it that way. It has a laser pointer. It's a Bluetooth keyboard. I looked online, and I can't find the batteries for these. Hold on. I'm trying to open it. Oh. All right. So the battery comes out. It has a dongle, which is kind of cool. So it can be Bluetooth or dongle, but this battery I cannot find. Uh, let me pull up the window here. So look, oh, about to drop it here. So it's a thin, it's almost like a Samsung battery, right? It's one of those. I can't find these. I don't know if anyone knows. I looked on eBay and I looked up that number, but I couldn't find it. So uh, it looks like the battery's dead. If I could find one that works, these go for about 23. So I'm looking to buy a battery for it. If anyone has a battery, reach out to me. I'll buy one off of you. But yeah, other than that, kind of cool it does have a part number on the battery it says uh, SL-1102 a uh, and it says for 6100 slash 20 1202 slash 1265 yeah so I'm gonna try and look up some more of those that's why I'm looking up those numbers I saw one from Great Britain but I wasn't gonna buy it I'll keep looking. All right, let me get my scissors here. So, yeah, hopefully everyone had sales today. I had a bunch. Came in, I had a lot come in tonight. Hey, Benji, what's going on? Adam, reach out to me after. I keep forgetting to message you. I have that cord you want. I'll send it out tomorrow. All right, so I have two boxes right here. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, all right. So I have two here. I have one here, one here. I'm going to do this one tonight. I'll do that one tomorrow. Two of the same lot. Um, I forget which I'm assuming. Oh, man, I'm way at the top of my list here. Uh, what did I buy here? So this is a good one. If this is the, Let me see what items I have in here. I either paid three thirty-five all in, or two sixty. I have two coming. Um, I'm not sure which one. Which one this is? So we'll see. Hold on, I'm trying to pull the window back up. Uh, let's see. Four Oaks. I had eight sales. Nice. Four Oaks match me tonight. Eight and eight. First day in eight in like three days with no sales. Oh man, you'll get some in three weeks. All right, so all right. Oh, so this is my this is the three thirty five lot three three five all in. Um, you'll see. I'll have you guess which item that I bought it for as I show you. Catherine had no sales. Uh, all right, so. These Sony headphones, they sell pretty well. Hey, William, what's up? Those sell really well. I'll try them out. Tile Mate. Uh, this is the one pack. The four packs are awesome. The four packs of the Tile Mate sell for about 60 to 70 bucks. Uh, Adam, no sales. The camera lens. No, this is not the camera lens one. So with the tiles, just make sure. See, there's no noise on. Oh, 
I have to double check if that's see how you can hear that. Okay. I'm not sure if that's linked. Uh, I forget how you can check. If you download the app on your phone, you can double check to see if it's tied to anybody because the person is going to get it and say, hey, this is tied to 123 at yahoo.com. Can you unregister it? And a lot of times I'm like, uh, that's not me. So the tiles, if you put them on your keychain, you can locate your keychain if you happen to lose it through the tile app on your phone. So they're basically, if you lose stuff, you tie them to things and you can find them. Uh, what was I going to say? Camera lenses, I still have, haven't sold them. So I have $600 sitting around. But the good thing is in on one of the lots, I've already made my money on it. So once I sell it, that'll be pure profit. This looks to be like a TV antenna. And someone probably shipped it back and they tore the label off right here. Yeah, I need that for my TV remote. So this looks to be a TV antenna, I'm guessing. These things are hit or miss. I have a bunch of these. These uh, cords and plugs and adapters from HOSA technology. Some of them sell, some of them sit. Uh, it depends which one they are. So as I price my items, I look out to see what they sell for, and I learn that certain items will go for certain amounts. You'll pull up certain things, and they might be listing for 70 bucks, but you're selling them for, if you go on, always check the solds. The sold items will tell you what they're actually moving for, and always check the dates. You'll see that multiple items are moving per day, or one's moving per month, so always double check that. I've never seen them cut the box like that before. So I'm assuming that's liquidation. They don't want us getting the buyer's information, I'm guessing. I've seen a couple of them that way. Sometimes they try to peel it off and they fail miserably, and I can still tell. Hit or miss are these. If they work, they sell really well. They're about, I think they're $40 to $60. I'm giving you that wide range because I forget what I sold mine for. Uh, the last set I had didn't work well. I'm trying to think. Okay, here we go. So I'm assuming based on the way they are, they still have this sticker on them. I'm assuming they'll be okay, but those sell crazy. So if you get those, test them quickly, list them quickly. You'll get them done. They're about 60 bucks. Another phone. This sells not for a lot. It's between $9 and $12, I think. Small profit, but you'll be able to move it quickly. And back to our feedback show last night, you get to move your items and uh, – and get that feedback up with those little items that you're making five bucks on. That's why I like those those little ones. And again, test it for power. Uh, this looks to be a Samsung Galaxy case or tab, whatever they call it. Uh, let's see. This looks to be a speaker cord. So we'll check that out. Looks like I just got a return on two controllers that I sold as parts not working. <laughs> as no return, so I might need to call you on that one. Car air vent holder, that's probably going to be donated. I've never had a pair of those work. Yeah, sometimes they're hit or miss on the pair. So there's an Adonic pen. Always check the tips. Sometimes you can get replacement tips on them. It's almost worth, not worth it to order them. I just sell them as it is. This looks to be some car mount adapters. Skull candies. So a lot of times the skull candies I'll take and uh, check them out. So I'll probably be sending these in tonight, assuming they don't have the box. I'm guessing they don't work. I'm not sure. Has anyone got one of these, the WF-1000Xs, the Sony noise-canceling headphones? Let's see if they're in here. Oh, yeah, so they're both in here. They look pretty new, so we'll see. So, Nick, if – so the buyer has to state in the message that the item doesn't work and they want to return it. 
if they state it's the wrong color or item not as described, then you're you're most likely going to have to eat the return, even though you state no returns. eBay is going to back the buyer. Chris, you put not working for parts only in your title. Not in the, see this one. I didn't do the title. This one I did. Um, hold on, let me go on the listing here. Uh, Microsoft Sculpt Mouse. They sell for about fifteen to twenty bucks. What did I do here? So I listed as four parts not working in the condition. In the description, I said uh, red light blinks when plugged in, but I cannot get them to charge or power up. Red light blinks when plugged in, and I repeat it in the description. And I said returns not accepted. So eBay should side with me given my condition, my description, and my return statement. Uh, says uh, four parts, but I mean. Otherwise, I mean, what's that at that point? So I do parts sometimes in the title, but a lot of times it doesn't matter. I don't know. I mean, buyer rarely read descriptions. Yeah, I know. I get that all the time. So this is a toner unit, a drum unit. I've never received one of these. Uh, this looks to be, so let's pull it out. Show you guys what this looks like. So it looks to be unopened. Yeah, this is unopened from what I can tell. There's no tape or anything on it. But yeah, it came in the plastic and everything. So, last thing to check on ink is expiration. And still, it's expired ink will sell. But just always double check the expiration because you're going to want to put that in the description. Not OEM products. Does not say unless. So the use before date is blank. Look at that. So let's see. You use right there. It's blank. It's supposed to be right here. Uh, you can see color black. And here, here's what it says it's used for. So there's the sticker, HP or HL, and then MFC, whatever that means. So I'll include that in the listing. SMB unit DR520620. So it looks to be off-brand, but given it's not open, which is nice. Uh, I'm trying to think, when did I sell this? So I sold it November 26, so they're still within the 30-day. HL, yeah, I have no idea what that means. I'll have to look it up. I'm getting these round labels all the time. Yeah, HL. Harry, whatever Elm is. Harry Larry. Uh, no idea what this is. This looks to be some arm holder. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, this is kind of cool. I'll take this out. This is a car part. And look at that. Want to turn your windshield wipers on? <laughs> so we'll give that a shot. Looks to be uh, looks forward to me, but we'll see. That's interesting. All right, another infamous Instax camera, which probably will be broken. We'll give that a test. Ink, this ink is opened. Uh, yeah, Adam, this is a pretty interesting lot. Expired 2020, so we'll make sure the stickers are still on it. Yeah, now they're including car stuff. I did have a lock, a lock ac actuator. I've sold lock actuators before. So let's see if this one sells. Xbox game, Xbox, the uh, regular Xbox. And it looks, this game looks to be okay, but it is used good condition. Nick, your car, your friend puts in, in 
his um, himself through college. That's interesting. He's able to do that. Does he go to a junkyard and part stuff out? Back looks okay. So this is probably worth a couple bucks, if that. Put that in my, my game pile. Netgear, again, this sold within minutes when I listed it last three nights ago. And it's still in the packaging. So I'm going to list that. I'm going to piggyback the listing that I had the night before. Oops, give that a sell. Another mouse. These things sell. I have one that's busted, but it, it's cracked, but it still works. So those, I've never had issues with those. And it has the box, which is nice. So I'm going to list that. LG Tones, I never get these to work. Pick and pulls are good for car parts. Yeah. A couple more things. Another phone unit. These sell like crazy. VTech phones. A lot of the VTech phones, VTech handsets, um, they will sell pretty well. Just price them around the market, what they're selling for. What do you do with the net gear? Say new, not tested, free returns. Uh, I say new, other, uh, tested for power. And then they'll see 30-day 30, 30 returns. Off-brand headphones, wired, probably won't, won't be worth much. I'm assuming they're going to be busted. Mono deal, whatever that means. But yeah, Adam, I don't wire, I don't test them with my Wi-Fi. Chris, on your video games, do you have GTA? Uh, I have GTA I play personally, but the GTA I got in one of my lots was fake. So I'd throw it away. I'm not sure. Microsoft Surface Mouse. I will test this one. This one I will pair and test with the computer. I mean, this thing looks perfect. So I will test that out. Last thing. So the last thing is going to be the top priced item. This is the, the item that I've always been looking for or I always look for. Hey, Rob, what's up? How you guys doing? Rob and Renee. So I've never gotten it in this color box, but it's a pet cube camera. These sell all day for about $99.99. And I do test these. I download the app. I play with them to make sure the laser works. I've never had an issue with them. I've only had one that hadn't worked, and I still sold that for I think 60 or 70 bucks. This looks good, and given the purple color, I'll probably be able to get more for it. But visually, it looks okay. Uh, and the port looks fine. This takes a USB-C, which comes in the box. It has all the, so you can see in the bottom, it will have all the units. Um, so I just plug it in, test it, use the app on my phone, and get that going. But the pink color, I'm assuming, will get me a little more. Rose gold, it's called. Uh, but I will try that out. So there is a loose part in here, so I'm wondering if it's working, but we'll give it a shot. So that's the main item. That was the bigger box of the two. Tomorrow's box will be uh, lower uh, quality, I'm assuming. All the items you saw here are probably the, the top items on the manifest, so we'll see how those sell. What does that do? The pet cube. So if you're asking about the pet cube, what happens is uh, last one I sold through global shipping. I forget where I shipped it to. England? But you can see here, there's a camera and there's a laser. Supposedly when you're away, you can use the laser to play with your pet and you can use the camera to watch him. It will take video. It will take uh, pictures. You can then log in with your phone. That's what it looks like. And if you put your finger on the lens or on your camera face, the laser will move. So your cat can follow the laser, take pictures. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Supposedly there's a big community that people that use it. But I've never heard of it until I bought Liquidation. Adam, I have not done anything in my Wi-Fi, uh, which is quite interesting because I'm downloading an update for my PlayStation at the same time. And the Wi-Fi is great. So I don't know what's going on. Darren, so yeah, I hear you guys are having fires out in L.A. I will be in L.A. January 2nd through 5th. 
So hopefully it's done by the time I get there. Um, I saw the video of people driving down the five, I think, that showed fires on the, the highways, which was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'll be there for a couple days. Maybe I can stop by and visit some people, but check out the thrift stores. But yeah, I'll be in uh, Valencia. Supposedly, so we have a building that was five miles from where the fire started. So we'd evacuate the building, building that we have out there. Hey, Redneck, what's up? And then, so Christmas, I'm going to Austin. January 3rd or 2nd through 5th, I'm going to Valencia, California. And then the week after, I'm going to Atlanta. So we'll see how my sales do. As my videos come up for those days, I'll show you what I'm going to do in terms of extending listings and uh, making sure vacation modes all set up and running. But otherwise, saw a video of inside of a tree on fire. That's crazy. Wow, San Diego's burning. I, I didn't realize that. I mean, that's way south. Oh, so probably uh, either tomorrow or this weekend, Blue Lots has a new feature I'm going to test out. Uh, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to ask them if, if they're okay with me showing it, but some uh, good updates that they're going to show in terms of uh, past purchases and, and looking up items as you look on their site. But stay tuned for that, and I would recommend, I think it's 10 a.m. The new lots come out, 10 a.m. Pacific. Go out there and check their site, and uh, I'm hoping to have them on for an interview soon so you guys can get an idea of uh, ask them questions direct and understand exactly how they work. Chris, did you see? Oh, yeah, Adam, I saw you said that. <laughs> that was funny. He glossed over it, though. He didn't say anything. We'll see. I got to work him in. I gave him my number. He's supposed to call me. So hopefully uh, I can get in there and we can show the thrifters what the liquidation is all about. So any other questions on the items or things that I've, I've showed you tonight? Uh, hopefully with the first box, uh, these items, if you get these items, what to look for. Um, I'm going to go back to the thrift store tomorrow, so I'll probably have questions for you guys. Join the Facebook group. I'll post stuff in there to let you know what I found. A couple good uh, posts going on, discussions about returns I saw come through, and someone had a uh, feedback extortion, which was interesting given the video we talked about last night. So it's happening all the time. But, yeah, join the group. Hit the like button if uh, or hit the thumbs up if you thought the video was good. Hopefully, if you're not subscribed, you subscribe now. Thanks for watching, and uh, we will talk to you guys tomorrow.